the Prophet Islam said, and I quote, those who are just and fair in their rulings and in their dealings with their families and those of whom they are in charge of will be on thrones of light at the right hand of Allah the Almighty. And Allah has two hands, two right hands, end quote. Shaykh, taking the context of this hadith into consideration, does Allah the Almighty metaphorically or literally have two right hands? Jazakum. In Arabic, for those who know Arabic, they understand that the word right is used for justifiable things and honorable things. And this is what was meant in this hadith, that Allah has two hands as mentioned in the Quran. Now the other deviant sects totally disagree and say, no, Allah doesn't have hands. And this is making Allah similar to his creation, a'udhu billah. And this is going against the tawheed of al-asma wa sifat. When Allah approves of something and you come and disagree and say, no, Allah is not all hearing. When Allah says, I am the creator of everything in this universe, said, no, Allah does not create evil. Okay, who created evil? Someone else. Oh, there is another creator. The, uh, I refrain from answering. What are you doing? So Allah has two hands and they're both right in the sense that they do not or we do not attribute anything wrong to the other hand. But there is a hadith that proves that Allah has a left hand. And this is not to say that the left which for us is used usually for bad things. No, Allah's hands are all right in the sense that they are all honorable and only do things that cannot be criticized or discredited or looked down upon. And this hadith is an authentic hadith and Allah Azza wa knows best.